In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. The Bible says, Pray without season. Pray without season. It is a message for you to pray every time. Shout this prayer upon loud and clear. Holy Spirit, speak to me. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, speak to me. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, speak to me. In Jesus' name it is done. Amen. We are looking on the topic. Hear from God first before you do anything in life. Hear from God first before you do anything in life. The Bible says we should pray every day. In your good season, pray. In your bad season, pray. You are worried, pray. You are excited, pray. You are celebrating, pray. You are sorrowful, pray. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. You must seek God's face. In that thing you are about to do. Is God aware of that thing? Or you are just taking that decision based on your own accord. Whatever you want to do in this world today, it is very helpful that you should pray. Don't just do things out of the instruction of God. Seek a for the kingdom of God in every day of your life. It is risky to do things without seeking the advice or without seeking the guidance of God. Until God gives you the go ahead, don't go or do it. You must pray. So I'm going to outline the things that you need to do. So I'm going to outline the 25 things that you must not only do first, you must pray first before doing that thing. Number one, you want to sleep, you must pray first. Before you go to bed, you must pray first. Pray to God before you sleep. Number two, you want to go out, you must pray first. Hear from God. Is God giving you go ahead to go out? Or you are just going out just to fulfill your own purpose? A lot of people go out, but they never return back again. May that not be your portion in the name of Jesus. Anytime you want to go out, you must hear from God. Pray first. Number three, you want to drive out, you must pray first. Pray first. Hear from God. To know the type of cars you should take, you should drive with. Don't just drive with your car, don't just drive, don't just enter the road just because you have an assignment. You must pray first. Four, you want to eat, pray first. Five, you want to discuss something important to your husband or wife, you must pray first. Hear from God to tell you if you are to go ahead with that discussion, with that information or not. Number six, you want to accommodate someone into your house? Please hear from God. It is necessary you pray first. After allow that person into your house, it is then you want to pray. No, it is wrong. Before you accommodate, before you bring in somebody to scot with you, you must pray first. Hear from God. Seven, you want to copy other people's lifestyle? Please pray first. You must pray first. You want to copy that man's lifestyle? That woman's lifestyle, you must pray first. Eight, you want to go to the village, you must pray first. Hear from God. What is God saying concerning your journey, concerning your movement, your plan to travel to your village? Is God supporting it or not? Number nine, you want to trek down the road, you must pray first. Pray first. Let everything that you are going to do be attached with prayer. You want to trek down the road, Pray first. Ten, you want to cohabit with someone, you must pray first. Cohabiting, living with somebody that you know, somebody that you don't know. Please pray first. Hear from God. Eleven, someone wants to put a baby or child in your care. You must pray first before you take or accept that child or baby in your care. Twelve, you want to lend your clothes, your shoe, or your cap to someone. Please pray first. Hear from the Holy Spirit. What is God saying?
concerning your plan, concerning your intention of giving out your clothes, your shoe, your cap to someone. 13. You want to go to the hospital? Don't ignore the importance of prayers. Let God reveal to you the right hospital you should go for your medical treatment or attention. 14. You want to discuss your social story or problem to someone? Please pray first. Hear from God first. Whether to go ahead and discuss your social story or your issues with that person. So that you will know if that person will use those information against you or use it to mock you. 15. You want to buy a second-hand product like phone or car? Please pray first. Hear from God. A lot of people have been arrested because of this. Buying a second-handed stolen from buying a second-handed car. You must pray first. 16. You want to eat in another person's house? Please pray first. It is very necessary that you pray. If you know that you are going to your friend's house in fasting, just cancel that fasting because that your friends will surely entertain you with food or drinks. You want to eat in another person's house, please pray first. That person could have, you know, been wished that food. You may not know. 17. Before you visit your friend or family members, hear from God first. The reason is not because your friends are your enemies, your family members are your enemies, but you must hear from God whether it is the right time to go and visit your loved ones. Number 18. Someone is crying to you for help. Please hear from God first before you go ahead and help that fellow. 19. If you want to have another child in your marriage, a baby boy, a baby girl, please pray first. Pray first. Pray first. So that the baby that is coming will not be a vagabond. So that you will not lose your life as a result of that baby you want to have. Please pray first. 20. You want to loud your marriage? Please consult the greatest marriage planner, which is the Holy Spirit. You want to loud your marriage. You want everybody to know about your marriage. You want the whole world to know about your marriage. Please hear from God first. If God is not giving you go ahead to loud that marriage, please don't loud it. But if God is giving you go ahead and loud that marriage, please loud it. 21. You want to go for high VF or surrogacy? Please and please hear from God first. Yes, you are planning, you and your husband or you and your wife are planning to go for IVF, surrogacy, or adopting a child. Please and please hear from God first. Do not be moved by emotion. Do not say uh, those people that adopt babies that go for surrogacy, they have their children that went for IVF, they have their children. That is their time. That's how God programmed their miracle. So hear from God first. 22. You are approaching your delivering date. Pray well on your delivering date. Pray for mercy. 23. Before you sign any contract, document, or agreement, don't just agree like that. Hear from the Holy Spirit. A lot of people just put pen on paper and begin to sign any document. They say, agree, 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 agree. You know, at the long run, it might fight you. It might trouble you. If you do not understand some terms, before you sign any contract, document or enter into an agreement with somebody please and please don't just agree hear from god first 24 you want to move or relocate to another house or another location or environment don't just move because you want to move don't just move because you have the money move because god is asking you to move hear from god first 25 your spirit is telling you to pray please pray don't just ignore the sign your spirit is telling you to pray. You must pray. There could be something bad that is coming and it's not in your awareness. So you must pray. So you can see the importance of prayer. The benefit why we should pray every day. The Bible says pray without ceasing. The Bible also says men ought to pray and not to faint. You are going out, you need to pray. You are in your toilet, in your restroom, in your confidence, you need to pray. Everything that you need to do, you need to pray. I have seen some people going to their restroom, trying to take their bait. You know, they step on that ties and that tie. They were drawn. You know, their feet slip away from that ties. And today, they are no more. So, don't, don't take some things for granted. You need to pray. You need to pray. You need to pray. You want to enter into that marriage? You need to pray. 
Some people will go and want to go and commit adultery. Ah, it is dangerous. You want to cheat, it is dangerous. So you need to pray. You need to pray so that I know that when you pray, God will speak to you not to, you know, go ahead in committing adultery or cheating on your partner or your spouse. So I pray that God will give you that spirit of prayer. So you must ask God to baptize you with the fire of the Holy Ghost. So pray at all times. Not every Sunday you should pray. Not every Friday you should pray. Pray every day. Pray every day. You want to shake hands with your friend. Just pray every day. Just pray. You had a bad dream. Just pray. Don't just say, dream don't come to me. Just pray. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. This is the part one of this topic. So I'm going to share the part two in our next video. I want you to close your eyes. Take prayer for number one loud and clear. Say, Spirit of praying every day, locate me in the name of Jesus. Spirit of praying every day, locate me, locate me, locate me. Spirit of praying every day, locate me in Jesus' name. Say, anointed to pray without getting tired, fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Anointed to pray without getting tired, fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Anointing to pray without getting tired, fall upon me in Jesus' name. Three, say, O oh Lord, show me sign of any bad thing that the enemy is pushing on my way in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, show me sign of any bad thing the enemy is pushing on my way in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, show me sign of any bad thing the devil, the enemy is pushing on my way in Jesus' name. You are protected. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. This is Evangelist Joshua Oreke. God bless you.